Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 9. Today we're going to be talking about the new extended trailer that has just been released by the CW. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. So I'm very excited, The Flash is coming out in under a month. The official premiere day of Season 9, aka The Flash's final season, is February 8th, that's a Wednesday, and as usual we're going to be making a review video right after the episode airs, breaking down everything that goes down in the episode and what it can mean for the future of the show. So having this second trailer is very exciting because obviously this is the final season and we get more that is being teased about the season's story. Now, we get our first look at Red Death, which is very exciting. We're going to break that down when we get to it in the trailer. And also, we have some teasers about Barry and Iris' story this season. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the trailer breakdown. So, first things first, we get to see various shots in Star Labs and of Star Labs from the outside. You have this shot of Chester looking at the old Flash suit, which is just, you know, there in the distance. And you have the voice overlay, which is in fact Joe, and he says, You have been through a lot in nine years and I'm very proud of you. Then you get the shot that you saw in the previous trailer. And as you guys know, Joe isn't going to be in this season that much. He's going to be a recurring character. So he's not going to be in like every episode, but probably like half the season, maybe four or five episodes. I know that's not half, but like roughly about five episodes would be my guess. Then we move on to the next shot and you have Barry and Iris in their apartment in Central City and this is one of the most intriguing points in the trailer because Barry basically shows Iris this book and he says I call it my map book. We can see what's coming before it happens and so he's showing this book and as you can see on the screen right here it says fall 2024 there is going to be something that's happened. Basically it's teasing, Barry's going to be messing with the timeline more, he's going to be time traveling more and finding out information before it even happens. And so he's already mapping things out, like this is for fall 2024, he's got a photo and potentially he's been given this by someone or by himself by going to the future. So obviously very risky and Iris isn't totally in on this idea as you can see from Candace Patton's face right here, that's definitely a face of shock because as you know Barry needs to be more careful with the timeline because he has a duty to uphold and not mess with everything and Barry even goes on to reveal that Iris is going to be pregnant in three months. He actually says that to Iris, he reveals it before it even happens and so we got the confirmation right here in this extended trailer that those photos that we saw that were released previously by the CW of Barry and Iris hugging Allegra and Chester is in fact more than likely their announcement to Team Flash that they're going to have a child and it's obviously going to be Nora unless Barry has messed up the timeline too much that it turns out to be it's not true or it's not Nora, it's a different version of Nora like there is all of this that Barry has to deal with and he's clearly not worried about this he's very happy, he kisses Iris on the head in the morning when they wake up and goes to work as you can see in this shot and then this is where things get really interesting because Barry in the voiceover says this new speedster wants to build a time machine so this is when we get the first shot of Red Death overlooking Central City you can see Red Death in the bottom left corner of the screen Obviously, we kind of know who's underneath the mask, but we don't know the full story behind Red Death and why they are in Central City as of right now, and why do they need a time machine? Or are they talking about another speedster? It seems they're talking about Red Death, so is Red Death not a full-on speedster? Well, there's always the chance, and if you know Red Death from the comics, it is Batman who taps into the Speed Force and obviously becomes Red Death, but potentially they want to create some sort of like new cosmic treadmill in order to go back in time. Now, I have no idea why they would need that time machine, like what's their specific goal? Going to the future, going to the past. But the more interesting thing is, how did Barry find out about that? Clearly Red Death has revealed themselves as of this point because obviously Barry knows about their presence in the city 
and part of their plans. But the question is, did Barry like run into Red Death, maybe their base, and find the remnants of them trying to create the time machine, and that's how he found out? Or did like Red Death straight up reveal it? Very intriguing, but yeah, that's exciting. Let's move on. So we have this shot of Iris in what looks like maybe CC Citizen Media. I don't think it's their apartment, but she is getting some sort of like weapon out of a drawer. Maybe she is being attacked in this instance or she heard something. I don't know. They don't give much context in the trailer as to that shot. But Iris goes on to say, I don't want to know everything that's going to happen. I just want to choose it. And so this is the backlash that Barry is facing with obviously him revealing all of this information about their future. Iris clearly from the start of the trailer is not comfortable with Barry revealing so much and I really don't know what has made Barry change his mind and do this but it's clear that obviously that's going to be some sort of point of tension between the two of them at least at the start of the season even though obviously they're both going to be very happy about having Nora come into the world and then we get what I was suspecting was going to happen in the next shot you see Barry inside Star Labs surrounded by who we thought were the rogues but it turns out they are not the rogues and the rogues are led by Captain Boomerang. In fact, the people surrounding Barry is Goldface, the Hotness, Pie Piper and Mark. So that is a strange team up because classically they are somewhat villainous, especially Goldface, but somehow Barry has made them all come together and they're going to be helping out for a common cause to defeat the rogues. Maybe it's some sort of rogues war that is breaking out in the city and so Barry's just chosen a side in order to try and take down Captain Boomerang and his rogues but then uh, what I think is Goldface's voice he says you have a mutiny on your hand so clearly he's talking to Barry I don't know what type of mutiny that is but it seems like it could be to do with Team Flash now I have no idea why a mutiny would break out but this could mean something else I but I don't want to particularly overanalyze it and so then we move on to Barry and Iris's apartment Barry says the whole timeline will be at stake and this is the bit where you see this like purple, pinky, sparkling dust in the air above them, which I don't know if it signifies some sort of change to the timeline, or it's a new villain that is showing up somehow in their apartment, but it's very interesting because we see a kind of similar thing later on in the trailer as well. And so then we get a closer shot from behind of Red Death. You can see Red Death's classic helmet and the white ears and the red suit, but obviously in the darkness and it's out of focus because the focus is on the city. I like what it's teasing. I kind of wish that we get a better look at Red Death, but this is pretty cool for now. So yeah, let's move on to talk about the next shot. So we can see Barry facing off against Captain Boomerang. Captain Boomerang is trying to either protect this device on the truck or he is trying to capture it and obviously Barry is here to try and stop him he throws one of his boomerangs at him then the next shot after the still fighting Barry throws lightning at him as it courses throughout his body but then the kind of similar purpley thing is this I don't know if it's some sort of device that Captain Boomerang has maybe the thing on the truck is actually what causes this kind of ray that has knocked Barry back and he's about to land on his ass but following that we have like a literal less than one second shot of someone running around the city and it's a speedster the lightning looks red now i have no idea if this specifically is a reuse shot or anything like that but from how short it is i'm wondering if this is our first glimpse of red death running around central city now red death does have red lightning and I can't really signify if this is just someone else running, but it really does look red. So I think this is Red Death, it could be. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But as we move on to the final shot in the trailer, we are shown another team of villains led by Captain Boomerang. And then you also see Murmur and two other villains that I have no idea who they are in some sort of undisclosed location, probably their lair. And they've captured Barry, so Barry's hanging up by those chains. Somehow, maybe after fighting Captain Boomerang, they've been able to subdue Flash and bring him back to their lair in order to capture him. And I don't know what they're going to do to him, but probably try and kill him. So, yeah. Barry is in for a big battle and as well as this trailer they actually released a final poster 
for the season, which is very, very exciting. I think it's one of the best posters they've ever released for The Flash. I love how they've been promoting the final season. It says the final run and you get to see Barry running through the streets of Central City. He's got like various different shades of lightning, which I think is very cool. Maybe teasing a little bit of Nora here and there. Plus, you get to see all of the posters lined up on the city street billboards. And I just love that. That is such a meta thing to do. It's some of The Flash's best posters, and it's just very nostalgic. I think this will go down as one of the coolest posters, as well as that new Golden Boots poster they released recently. It seems like they are definitely going more creative this season than the standard, very boring, stacked heads posters they've done in the last, like, two, three seasons. So that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. You can also become a member of my channel if you want to support the channel and if you like what I do by clicking the join button down below and becoming a super friend. Also, my merchandise is available in the link in the description below. It's the dctvshow.tmail.com. That, along with watching my videos or becoming a member, is one of the best ways of supporting my channel. And a big shout out to everyone that has bought merch so far. I really appreciate it. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Click on the top right corner of the screen. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.